Before the poem, I wrote these words. Sin equals mistake. Greed equals visionary. Gossip equals sharing. Pride equals confidence. Lust equals appreciation. Anger equals passion. Slothfulness equals self-care. Gluttony equals fellowship. Hate equals discernment. And then I wrote, now I contend that I don't sin, at least not anymore. I mean, I'm saved for goodness sake, not who I was before. And I once heard saved is a verb that means I'm perfect now. So I'm a saint and since you ain't, feel free to kneel or bow. The finished work of Jesus served as payment for my debt. He got me here and now it's clear you ain't seen nothing yet. For since I don't, that means I won't commit a sin no how. So what you heard, those angry words, that clearly doesn't count. See, my mistakes are just outtakes, a blooper, not a sin. If I act mean, my heart is clean, so why should I repent? I eat too much? Well, food's a crutch I like to lean upon. So if you think it's gluttony, then bless God, you're just wrong. And please don't say my bless God phrase might break the third commandment, because I'll just use the Bible too and claim the fifth amendment. I never lie, I just disguise the truth in different ways. My fibs are white, yet in the light, they do turn kind of gray. I do not lust, and I'm disgusted women think I do. For goodness sake, I only take a look or 22. To covet means you love it even though you know it's theirs. But name that thing and claim that thing and greed becomes a prayer. I don't sin less, I am sinless. I say that with great pride. And I'm allowed to be that proud since I'm so good inside. My errors, holy terrors, oh, I know what you might say. But once you learn the Christian words, the sin just goes away. Those older calls, they're meant for all the sinners in the pew. Now that I'm saved, my kneeling days are over, done, and through. And should I mention good intentions keep you out of hell? Because in the end, it isn't sin as long as you mean well.